Hi guys! So I want to talk a little bit about those um, daily schedules that you might have already seen kind of floating around Instagram. And first of all, I just want to say that if you need to stick to a schedule to help make sense of your day, that is awesome. Do it. But if that's not the way your brain works, but you feel like the only way to not fail your kids right now is to recreate a traditional school schedule at home, stop worrying. Okay, the truth is, yes, kids thrive on routine, but not for the reason we think they do. It's not about the routine, it's about the met expectation. So if the expectation is that the day will be segmented into 20 or 30 increments because that's the way that school works, then certainly they will expect that outcome and respond positively when it's met. But if your expectation at home is different, right? If you're working from home, you're caring for aging parents, you have a new baby, if your life circumstance requires that you live kind of within a different set of expectations, that is okay. Just be clear about what the day is going to bring for your kids. And that can be however it needs to look, right? So here are three easy to implement rhythms if you simply can't do the schedule thing, all right? The first is to try an inchworm rhythm. Now this works best for the younger set where, I don't know, those attention spans are a little bit shorter and it looks like this, together, apart, together, apart. So you might start your day by reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar over toast together. You'll then set up an area where your kids can play independently apart from you. Uh, when your kids need to transition, you can play a board game or have a kitchen dance party or try another goose lesson together. Then you'll go apart. You'll set up blocks or a coloring station to transition to more time apart. And slowly but surely, you can move through your day in that same rhythm so that both you and your kids will learn what to expect as the day progresses. Number two, you could try a deep dive rhythm. This works well for four and up and you can just start your day by asking your kids what they would like to learn that day. You're gonna get some wild answers, okay? But make a list together and let each kid tackle just one thing from that list that you both agree on. It is totally okay to boundary that list depending on what you can handle that day. But you'll then communicate to your child that this is their goal and you are simply here to assist. You can provide the necessary scaffolding for him and her to get started, and then you can step away. Here's what might happen. They might give up soon and grow bored and move on, but chances are they won't because this is their learning experience, not yours. It's their discovery, not your assignment. You know how most kids can play on the beach for like hours and they're lost in their own world? It is because they love the beach. So give them the beach, right? Let them decide what they wanna focus on for the bulk of the day. Don't interrupt them and see how that goal changes as the day moves on. This is how a seven-year-old might learn how to play chess because she's bored of checkers, or how a three-year-old might learn to play the drums because he wants to start a band, right? It all counts as learning. Number three, try an anchor point rhythm. This works great for all ages and also for those of you that are working from home. So the idea is you will protect those three anchor points in the day. We use mealtimes as anchor points because it's that natural rhythm that's already established. And these anchor points, they will become times of family connection only. So plenty of eye contact, conversations, no distractions allowed. Try to keep discipline and correction to a minimum. These are the moments where your kids are going to feel sort of tethered and safe, no matter how stir crazy or out of whack the rest of their days feel. So if possible, you could take one of your anchor points outside for fresh air, like a lunch picnic on the stoop or a quick walk around the block after dinner. Just keep these times as non-negotiables. And what you'll find is that even if the rest of the day is totally frenzied, you will care far less about what didn't get done when you know that connection will be built into every day at home with your kids. Remember, this is all temporary and it's going to require some adjusting for everyone involved. Decide what you want and need to care about right now and protect that. Then let go of the rest. I'm cheering you guys on.